Pressplay is a Copenhagen-based game development studio that has been around since 2006. And uh, mostly we do I own IP games on all consoles. Max and the Magic Marker is a children's game uh, and it's a game about creativity. So the main character of the game, Max, has a magic marker uh, which he uses to draw inside the game. So everything he draws becomes, uh, becomes alive. Not in the sense that if you draw, draw like uh, a car, it will uh, drive, but in the sense that the lines become real in the world. So he can draw a line and he can walk across it. So if he need, needs a uh, bridge, he can draw one. This whole idea of children drawings were inspired by one of my partner's nephew who drew like really awesome robot drawings. He was six years at the time, I think. Um, but then we, we knew we kind of needed more material, so we invited a class of second graders uh, to come in and uh, spent a few hours uh, getting fed up with candy, drawing all kinds of pirates and uh, robots and all the things we wanted and we needed to in the game. So we kind of had a, a huge stack of uh, different materials that we could uh, draw inspiration from. I think the most difficult thing about it was that we have to do it over time. So it's it took us two years, even though it's it hasn't been two years of work for, for our whole studio. Far from it, actually. So we had to develop it in, in, in stages. So first stage would be to get the fun funding for the prototype, then develop prototype, then develop the demo, then try to see can we get the rest of the funding to complete the game once that is secured, completing the game, getting it out. Now we're within weeks from uh, signing the final papers on, on uh, our coming game Tentacles. It's a game about uh, a mad professor and a failed experiment. And it's gonna come out on different smartphone devices. I mean, we'll be around, we'll continue to do games. Uh, I think we want to do one or two games a year from in the next five years. So hopefully there should be 10 titles. <laughs>